I mean, I feel really sad, uh, especially knowing that they had kids around. 39-year-old Megan Callahan and 37-year-old Reed Folk arrested after cops say they found a slew of drugs in the home the couple shared with their two young children. On April 26th, Kyle police were called to the corner of Strawn and Schmidt in the Plum Creek subdivision for a fentanyl overdose. I was surprised when there were so many cops. They arrived to find Callahan unconscious. They had to administer uh, four doses of, of Narcan uh, before she was able to come around and start breathing again on her own. Officers noticed a bunch of drugs in plain sight with the couple's two kids, both under the age of five, just feet away, being taken care of by a a roommate. In all, police found 14 fentanyl pills, cocaine, MDMA, Xanax, and mushrooms, as well as marijuana and THC cartridges. That's obviously very concerning to, to us that those small children were in, in such close proximity and accessibility to, to those dangerous drugs. Child Protective Services placing the kids with a relative. Callahan and Folk are each charged with seven drug possession counts. They've since been released from jail, and we tried to speak to them on Wednesday, but no one answered the door. Minutes later, a woman pulled up who claimed to be the roommate, but she wouldn't talk to us. Neighbors who live on this block say they were surprised and concerned by what unfolded here. Because I do have kids, so anything drug related is very scary. Very sad and we've never had a problem in this neighborhood and I've been here over six years. This bust happening days after 18 year old Jaquel Ray was arrested in the fentanyl overdose death of a 15 year old Lehman High School student. Unfortunately drugs just flood flood the community you know. Kyle assistant police chief Pedro Hernandez says they're doing their best to keep up. We're really trying to make an effort and we have been and working with all these agencies with our, the school district especially to put out the message of how dangerous these drugs can be.